What up? Tyler here from TarverAcademy.com. I would like to thank LearningBird.com for sponsoring this video. So check out LearningBird.com. Make sure you say hi to them and tell them I sent you. It's a great learning tool, great videos, and you can learn some stuff. Let's get to this learning, shall we? We are talking about Google Drive. And more specifically, in Google Drive, we're talking about sharing it, okay? Microsoft Office. It's okay, but it's on the computer you're creating it on. And that's it. And you're like, oh, I want all my friends to work on it. I'm working on this project. I need all these people to get their hands in it and look at it and work on it. But the problem is, it's on your computer. And so you get it and you finish it and then you email it to them and they look at it and they get it and they're like, okay, and they email it to the next guy. And then you get it back and they change all these things. One of the great things about Google Drive and creating docs or sheets or anything in there, you can share it. And when you share it, it allows people permissions based on what you want them to be able to do. So let's look at some of those permissions. Let's look at Google Drive, shall we? We're gonna go up and over. Okay, so we're in here. I'm looking at, I've got a folder, a doc, and a sheet. Okay, so let's go to our doc first. I'm gonna right click on this. And it's gonna bring up a list of options. I wanna click on share. So now, once it does this, it's gonna give me the option to share this to anybody. Right now, I can just start typing people's names. Say I wanna share it with my other email address. Hit enter, share it with that. Let's say I wanna share it with my wife. All right, and then I get there. I've got these two emails in there. I can X them out if I don't want them. If I was like, oh no. I can even add a note that says, hey, check this. Okay, now I can give them all the, all the permissions I want. Right now I've given them can edit permissions. Now I can change that. I can make it to where they can just, they can comment on it, which means it won't actually change it, but it'll make a comment off to the side and I can either exit and say, no, that's a bad idea. Or I can hit a check and it'll actually make those changes. And so it's pretty cool. Or I can say can view, which means they can't do anything to it. No suggestions, no edits. All it does is they can look at it, okay? So I want them to be able to edit it. I'm gonna hit send. Boom, they're gonna have access to that document that I created. Now, when I go in there, I'm sorry. Let's right click on it. We're gonna go to share. Now, when you're in here, you can see it says shared with and it shows me who I've shared it with. And a lot of times there's a lot of people to say and eight others or whatever it is. Um, so we're gonna look at our advanced features. So click that. Now, it's gonna list out all the people that have access to it and their access. Say I want um, her to have, I want her to be able to comment and then I want him not to be able to see it at all. So I hit X, boom. So I'm in there. I can allow people to see this. I can, I can change the access. I can even go in here. Right now we got specific people, save these changes. Sorry, I had to save it. Now, I can go in here. This is where a big one is. Specific people can access. I can change those options. I can allow anybody on the web to find it and do whatever they want on here. Anyone with a link, that one, if you click anyone with a link, that's great for something you know you want a lot of people to be able to see and you want to just send a link and an email. I do this a lot for people that aren't really comfortable with Google Drive, that don't really get it or know how to sign in and see all this stuff because um, it's really easy for them to get an email and just says, hey, click this link and you'll be able to go in and look at it. And so that way it's a really easy way for people that aren't super advanced to get in and be able to see a document. So click on that, boom. So people can have access. You have so many permissions. You can adjust whatever you want. There's my link to it. I copy that. Anytime I paste that in up here, I just paste it in that. And that link would take me to my doc that we're working on. So that's a look at how to share documents. You do the same thing for folders. You share the access and anybody that has access to those folders will be able to see inside those folders that they're given access to. Okay, and you can adjust what access they have. Um, so really think about it. This works great for if you're doing like, say you're doing a group project and you're the team leader on it and you have written up a bunch of stuff but you want other people's opinions, uh, whether to fix grammar, to add lines, to adjust things. You can give them the can comment option, which means they'll get to go in and make the edit, but it won't actually make the edit. It'll be like a different color. And then you can go in and look at it, and off to the side, you'll be able to see blah, 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 suggested this. And you can say, oh, that's a great idea. You hit the check mark, automatically changes it. Hit the X mark, it discards it. 
okay? So it allows you to still have control over your document. Now, if you trust everybody that's in there, give them all the same access to where they can edit it. All right, you can even switch off your ownership to someone else to where they can be the ones that are in control of it, okay? And they can adjust everything they want. So, great way to share, great way to collaborate. Um, thank you for watching. Please check out tarveracademy.com. Also, check out thelearningbird.com. Thank you for sponsoring this video. Check out their videos, their program. It is phenomenal. They're really cool people too. Thank you so much. B -b -b Peace. Bye. Hello. Thank you for coming to Tarver Academy. Please subscribe. Maybe.